Uh, Nathan Allen. Oh, let me get that one back up. Sorry, Nathan. Said people said nothing to do with the owners because he chose to stay. It's down to the owners because why go for a player that doesn't want to come? It's down to FSG because it's been a month and no signings. It's been two months now, mate. The window opened 14th of June. We're now coming towards the 13th of August. Two months almost and not one damn signing. Not one. But now, now we look like mugs. And now... One of two things is going to happen. Either we get taxed stupidity money on the next player we go for because they'll know we're desperate or FSG will put the spin doctors out to say, well, we're okay. We'll get through this season. Next year, ooh, huge window next year. You know you know the drill. We've been through it so many feckin' times. Do you see why I didn't believe in FSG this whole window? Because here we are again. Looking like mugs. Looking like absolute twats. With no signings of the three that we were promised. No contract extensions. Owners over in America sitting on their hands. Absolute disgrace. Absolute disgrace. Don't dare come at me defending these owners anymore. You know, we can talk about who's to blame on the failure. The player changed in his mind. Of course. But it's, it's just pathetic at this point. And the excuses are going to come out. Stevie Boy said, Craig, don't be upset. FSG uh, saved their club, they said. And I say, FSG out. Mate, I've just going to reiterate what I've said all the time. They don't give a damn. They just don't give a damn. Chelsea have signed 10 players in this window. 10. Villa have signed loads of players in this window. And we, for three years searching, can't get a defensive midfielder over there. Not only that, the manager's already told Endo he ain't good enough. I mean, just get the fuck out of the club, John. It's not even where's the money anymore, John. It's you're a complete goddamn embarrassment. You don't deserve to be at the helm of Liverpool Football Club. FSG are tin pot owners with zero ambition and zero ability to actually get the job done. And somehow, the all reliable defenders, the FSG apologists, are going to be out there trying to smooth this over. There is no smoothing this over. You shit the bed, the club look like a laughing stock, and we're none the closer to bringing in any more signings. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for two months of absolute nothing and then one big massive growler left on the bed. Alex McCall said we need to force them out. Enough now. Willis said yet again, same old crap with FSG. I wouldn't be surprised if not, if this comes out as the reason why Jürgen left. It stinks mate. The whole lot of it absolutely stinks to high heavens. It's an embarrassment. Uh, Chris Chan said be patient. Apparently August will be amazing. I know, that's what we were told, mate. Every year. I talk about it on this channel. Every single transfer window. And every year without fail. I'm told I'm a hothead. I'm told that I should apologise to FSG. Fuck FSG. Maybe now people will get that Klopp was doing great in spite of Edwards, not because of him. He's been living off Salah deal for years, said... Uh, Nelepku. Jake said, how have we not got a six? I can name at least 101. Surely an average number six is better than playing a player out of position in the six. Craig, I can't get another season as the nearly men. I know, bro. You shouldn't have to. Look at our competitors. City are a bit wobbly at the minute and Arsenal have gone out and signed players. And we're, we've just sold Carvalho today. So we've saved 18 and a half million quid in wages every year and we've just brought in a deal worth 27 and a half million minus about 7 and a half million. So 20 million quid. So they're up 38 and a half million quid. And us as fans are supposed to believe that they actually want to win. John's phrase, Tom's phrase that they love Mark you know, under promise and over deliver. When have they ever done that? Ever. J Mag said, I feel bad for a slot. They need to back him. The excuses will be wheeled out and the usual sympathizers will buy it and gloss it over. 
because they want to be on the next preseason tour. They want to be at the next press conference. They want to make sure they get their access. Again, we're probably going to be one of the only ones who actually have the balls to call these owners out for being tin pot and embarrassing. Uh, Nathan said, well, Edwards, you wanted control over the football side. You got it. And what have you done? He's made a mess of it, mate. Him and Hughes. They've been given assurances by the player that he wanted to move. Cool. Well, then you should have triggered the release clause the day you got the yes. Not trying to nickel and dime to spread it out over a few extra payments. That's great if it comes off. But if it doesn't come off, which it hasn't, you're ending up looking very foolish. Going to be interesting to see how this window affects contract renewals. Would you sign an extension with a club show no ambition in the window? Probably not. It'll be leveraged for more money by Trent and Virgil and their agents. And you can't blame them. Because now they go, well, now they've absolutely got to tie Trent up. Just, It's just embarrassing. Uh, you think last summer's transfer window was bad? It was, oh, no, I thought last summer's window was decent. McAllister, Soboslai, Gravenberg, I have no complaints about those signings. What signings would make the window acceptable? Ederson, a centre-back, and the forward. Oh, and also, by the way, let's not forget that they're touting around Luis Diaz as well because nobody's put in an offer yet but the Athletic are writing daily articles at this point to say Liverpool won't accept below 50 million for a player that nobody's put an offer in for so they're obviously trying to kick him out the door and bring in money so we are now into the phrase where they've made a profit in this transfer window these tin pot clowns in Boston these absolute charlatans spoofers have actually made a profit so far with two and a half weeks left in the window. Our owners live in this la-la land where somehow they think in their warped little minds that this makes sense. You don't get to be the smartest guys in the room when you're not. You don't get to be lauded when you shit the bed. T-Man said every season Liverpool decided to play snakes and ladders with transfers. Yep. And every season, the gullible believe in the owners. And calm down. We were all told August. We were told there's going to be a huge 10 days coming up a few days ago. Now all of a sudden, zip, nada, nothing. Except the sale. Carvalho, gone. Brentford, wishing him the best of luck with his career. Obviously, he didn't feel the love at Liverpool. Don't blame him for moving. On the bright side, almost 10k watching, Craig. Honestly, those are numbers that would usually make me over the moon happy, mate. But we all know why there's 10k watching. It's because we're all on anger. We're all fuming. That's why we have the big crowd in. Because everybody, whether they're an opposition fan or whether they're a Liverpool fan right now, are absolutely gobsmacked. Some of them gobsmacked happy. Some of them Liverpool fans like us gobsmacked, shocked, angry, frustrated. Ownership never grew up with the game. A very fair comment. They didn't. They came in under the FFP guys thinking that they could just be clever and outwit everybody. But the bad thing for us, the fans, is that football clubs' values during that time have absolutely skyrocketed. But their owners, they haven't kept up with it. We're constantly told, here's a new partnership with Lucas Aid. Billy Hogan bragging on the US tour about how Liverpool only partner up with blue chip companies because of the prestige. Well, what good is the prestige if we can't buy a damn player? If Caicedo, Lavia, Bellingham, and now Zubamendi don't want to come. Those blue chip partnerships aren't worth a shit to us now. That Nike deal ain't worth anything to us. All of the crap that we get subjected to from the PR merchants at FSG isn't worth a shit to us in the transfer market. 